Well, you know, Neil, I know you followed much of the Farm Bill through all of its wranglings, and last week President Obama did finally sign the Farm Bill into law. And when he did, that sent the political and news pundits into overdrive. And we usually don't call out members of the secular media, or any media for that matter, but one editorial cartoon drew the ire of lots of farmers here in Louisiana, and they let us know about it. Indeed they did. This is the cartoon. Avery, can you pull that up for us? This is by cartoonist Steve Sack of the Minneapolis Star Tribune. And as you can see, he has a fat scarecrow called agribusiness subsidies. And that scarecrow is stuffed with money. And he's asking the skinny scarecrow named Food Stamps what he got from the farm bill. Skinny Food Stamp Scarecrow says all he got was the shaft. Okay, now for a reality check. And these are not our numbers. These come from the U.S. Department of Agriculture and the Congressional Budget Office. Over the 10-year budget life of the Farm Bill, $190 billion goes to farmers in the form of program payments, crop insurance subsidies, and conservation initiatives. Now, food stamps and other low-income and no-income recipients over the life of the 10-year bill will receive, wait for it, $756 billion. $190 billion to farmers who grow our food, $756 billion to those who will use your tax dollars to buy that food. Now who got the shaft? Oh, settle down. Apparently this is an issue that he's very passionate about. Very. We should probably move on before we really find out how you feel about it. Well, that about wraps it up for this week's Twyla. And remember, you can see any of our stories on Facebook or on our website, twylatv.org. For Neil Malawsaw and Kristen Oaks and all the Twyla team, I'm Michael Dana. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Hope to see you again right here next week.